Hello, hello, welcome. Come on in. Welcome to season 10 of Music Forward's Open Mic Fridays. I'm your host, Maya Jupiter, and I'm so excited to be back bringing you the freshest talent from around the globe. I want to shout out hip hop right now, celebrating 50 years. Today is the birthday of hip hop, so happy anniversary, hip hop. Thank you for joining us here on Twitch and don't forget to subscribe to Music Forward here on this platform so that you never miss out on anything. Before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about Music Forward and Open Mic Fridays. Music Forward connects young people from our communities directly to the music industry via career and artist development programming designed to transform lives, inspire careers and champion a way more inclusive music industry. Open Mic Fridays is a performance showcase where young artists get to share their talent, gain exposure and get live feedback directly from industry professionals with successful careers in music. All right, so back to tonight's lineup and our amazing lineup today is very special because all season you, the fans, have voted on your favorite Open Mic Fridays performers. So here they are, all together tonight to perform for you one more time in our Season 10 Fan Favorite Showcase. Woohoo! All right. Now, your, your work isn't quite done yet because from tonight's lineup, we're going to be crowning our Season 10 Overall Fan Favorite as voted on by you, the fans. So be sure to vote for your favorite artist of the night using the pinned link in the chat. And stick around until the end of the show because we will be announcing your season 10 overall fan favorite live tonight. The season 10 overall fan favorite will be receiving some very cool music gear courtesy of Sennheiser. Plus brand new this season, we've partnered with Ross, who has all the name brands for less, to provide our overall fan favorite with a $150 gift card to Ross. You know that I am very jealous about that. As artists, we express ourselves through music and how you dress on stage and every day can be just as important for expressing yourself, building your artistry and showing people who you are. So you better believe tonight's artists are ready to perform their hearts out. That Ross gift card will go a long way, especially with 20 to 60% off department and specialty store prices all day, every day. And now, before we get started with the performances from our amazing young talent, let's meet our industry guests. Industry guests, please turn on your camera. Welcome to Open Mic Fridays. We've got Chris, Crystalla Poole Dorsey, founder and creative director of Hi. Artistry Talent Agency. You're not driving right now, are you? <laughs> oh my gosh. Multitasking. I'm okay. I'm I'm about to pull. I'm about to pull okay. up. Let me let me dedication. Uh, dedication. Let me introduce you properly to our viewers. You are the leading leading the way as founder and creative director for Upward Artistry Talent Agency. And you've become an unstoppable force in the performing arts and entertainment community in Houston. As a technically trained dancer for 25 years, in 2017, Chris pivoted from performing, teaching, and choreographing professionally to establish Upward Artistry, a full-fledged talent agency in Houston uh, specializing in serving artists and creatives of color in the entertainment and performing arts industries. Chris redefined the agency's purpose by providing a universal platform for talented individuals throughout Houston and the U.S. to inform, empower, and engage artists and creatives who are seeking guidance and opportunities within all aspects of the entertainment industry. We're so happy to have you. Thank you for joining us, Chris. Thank you. Glad to be here, as always. <laughs> Okay, and we have our other wonderful music industry expert, Miss Brittany Flores, Regional President of Florida Live Nation. A South Florida native, Brittany Flores started as an intern with Live Nation in 2010. She, along with her team, has produced, promoted, and overseen close to 1,000 concerts in over 50 venues annually throughout Florida and Puerto Rico. Prior to her impact on Nation, she toured around the world with the band Muse. Welcome to the show, Brittany. Thank you for having me. It's so nice to meet you and so nice to have you on here. Um, I have a question for you, Brittany. What standout qualities do you look for in new emerging artists? Um, stage presence, I would say, would be 
what I would look for. Um, you know, just feeling comfortable out there and um, being excited. Right. And just being somebody that people want to see live, right? Yep. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Well, you can turn off your camera now. We're going to invite our young performers to the stage. Thank you so much, Brittany. Um, it's time to get this show started, but first reminding you that the chat is open tonight. So show some love and let us know where you're joining us from. And thank you for keeping your comments positive and supportive for all the artists that are here to perform for you. Coming to the virtual stage right now, we have our very first performer, Marlo two times. Marlo, welcome. Hey, how you doing? So good to see you. Congratulations for winning fan favorite, and therefore you're here tonight with us. Good okay, well. tell me a little bit about yourself and what you're going to be performing for us tonight. I'm on those two times. I'm from St. Louis. I'm going to be performing this song called 13 Hours Away off of my project I just got done with called 30 for 30. The whole month of July, I released a song for each day in the month. So I just got done. This song really dedicated to like my mom and my granny off of the 30 for 30. Beautiful. And what number was this song in the 30? <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to answer. <laughs> All right. It sounds like a wonderful tune. I'm ready to hear it. Please take it away, Marlo. I've called you in a minute. I'm so far away from home. So far away from home. I ain't called you in a minute. Feel I was a burden to my father. I've been trying to seek forgiveness. Hey, mama. Yo, son, finally, you can hope you can forgive me for all the times your youngest child went missing. Big one, I wish we had that talk, but I just went missing. It's heavy on my heart. I just rather keep my distance. 13, I went from my homeland, no longer fucking up the kitchen. Fake love showing I was happy when I was locked down in that prison. I'm kind hearted, but they'd rather label me a menace. My papa again, oh, he think I don't love him no more. I bought that piece full of diamonds, man, you better than that gold. Ask my heart out with that stones, because I'm a burning stove. Never thought my my bitch would turn her back on me down in that hole. Never thought one of my day one partners would be the one to fold. I say, forget streets, I'm a business man, that life would get old. Only play jail, your funeral, ruin your body turning cold. Hey, granted, I ain't called you in a minute. And I'm far from home. I'm far from home. Hey. I ain't called you in a minute. Feel I was a burden to my father. I've been trying to see forgiveness. And mama, your son finally winning. Hope you can give me for the time your youngest child went missing. Oh, oh. Why flow? Why flow? I'm 13 hours from home. Hey, granny. I ain't called you in a minute. Ma, your son finally winning. I'm far from the city. I'm far from the city. Oh. All right. Yeah. Okay. I know you were having technical difficulties. I'm glad that you came through. I would love to have heard this, the track a little bit, you know, louder. But anyway, let's get our industry experts back in. You may now turn on your cameras and like to share your feedback from Marlo two times. Oh, you're on mute. There we go. Y'all took me off of mute. I'm sorry. Um, so I will say this. I saw the passion through your movement, and, um, and I was unable to hear the full track as well, but I did pick up on some of your lyricism, and just in watch, watching you, you were very passionate when it came down to um the lyrics now i do want to ask um that came like to your mom or grandmother i was i was trying to pick up on that it's, it's dedicated to both of them and it was kind of like me really like apologizing and showing my like soft side to to both of them yeah 
And you know what? I appreciate that because that's what's needed now. It, um, and, you know, I, I, you know, was born in the 80s, grew up in the 90s. And, you know, the closest thing to that um, was Dear Mama by Tupac. You know what I'm saying? So I think right now what's needed is the softer side of hip hop. Um, everything is, has been very much mad at somebody or, you know, break up or my mental health or something like that. And it's good to just really have a song where it's dedicated to like your mom and another loved one. So keep, keep going with that. Um, I wish I could hear the backtrack, but like I said, I, pick, I picked up on your heart and that's what matters the most. I appreciate it. Brittany. Welcome. You definitely, I could feel the emotion behind it. I think you really connected with the song. You could tell that, you know, you wrote it and it came from a from a, a sacred place. And I love the beat from what I could hear from it as well. It was a, it was a little choppy, but the the times that I could hear it, it was it was great. But um, congrats and um, yeah, your presence was 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 wonderful throughout the performance. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Brittany. If you came to support Marlo two times, be sure to tell everybody in the chat and then vote in our fan poll and make sure to stick around for the end of the show to see who gets crowned tonight's season 10 overall fan favorite. Thank you. You may all, well, turn off your cameras <laughs> and we'll see you back soon, industry guests. Okay. Coming to the stage now is Dom the Composer. Dom, I don't have any bio about you. I don't have anything. So you tell me all about yourself and what you're going to perform for us tonight. Hey, Dom. Hello. Hey. Um, my name is Dom, the composer of Dominic Hippolyte. I am a Haitian American singer songwriter. I grew up on church music and I've loved it ever since. And I eventually changed, changed and transitioned into soul music and R&B music. And I've Beautiful. loved been playing it, and I've loved like writing about vulnerability and learning about mental health, and just a little caveats about relationships. So nice. And what song are you going to perform for us tonight? I'm going to be playing an original called "Be Honest." It's it was recently released a few months ago, and it's a song about learning to be vulnerable with your partner. All right, take it away. Awesome. <laughs> that stare You fear a heart that burns too long I fear the heart I have Way on it Be honest Way on it Be honest Tell me you can't ride the ship and never face the way Trust the hands that never held a face and be honest. Just be honest. I hate the thoughts that wander off. The ones I have to chase. Whoa, no. The ones that make me think too long The ones I never want Always oh, honest Be honest Always oh, honest Be honest Tell me can you ride a ship And never face the waves Can you trust the hands that never held the face and be honest Just be honest Can you ride a ship and never face the waves? Can you trust the hands that always seem to shake? And be honest Just be honest 
hope you'll be honest Please be honest Okay, modulation. That was so good. Oh, my gosh. That was wonderful. I wish Thank we you. were. So I know that we're all here online, but I wish we were in a crowd. So be loud in the chat because, you know, we want to hear that applause. That was beautiful, Dom. Very soulful. Thank Let's invite the industry experts back in and see what they think about your performance. Hello. <laughs> oh, she's back. <laughs> So I would like to say that um, the runs were really, really good. Um, I would say whatever, when you do modulate to make sure that you're in tune, mm -hmm. most certainly. Um, I love the song. You do have clarity in your voice, which lets me know that, um, that you received some type of coaching, some vocal coaching, because I'm very, very big on that. Um, there was indeed clarity, especially when you're singing through Zoom. So I do want to say that um, the only thing that really just stood out to me was when you did modulate, you weren't getting on top of that note. And that's super duper important. But um, but other than that, I love the melody and um, the flow of the lyrics. And I'm, I'm, I'm big on details, details of the song, but um, keep working with it. Keep working with the coach. And, and you got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, Chris, don't turn your camera off yet. Just wait. Oh, OK. Oh. Brittany. What did you think? I thought it was fantastic. I was getting um, John Legend vibes. I don't know if, if you've heard that before or not, but, you know, incredibly calming, great tone. Um, it was, I, I I could imagine you singing any song and just sounding great doing it. So it was just beautiful voice. I really enjoyed it. And I love the message. I thought that was great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That was really, really nice. Okay, if you came to support Dom the Composer, be sure to show your love in our fan poll in the chat. Thanks to everyone. You may all now turn off your... Wow, beautiful performances tonight and every Friday night here on uh, Open Mic Fridays. Coming to the stage right now is Chloe Lavender. Chloe. Hey, so good to see you again. Good to see you too. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself and about the song you're going to perform. Well, I'm, my name is Chloe Lavender. I'm in LA. I've been writing music since I was like 14. I have an EP album out and just love writing songs and singing. I'm going to be performing my song, I Miss Me, which is about like, it's pretty sad about like just feeling like you're losing yourself. You miss who you were before and, you know, just trying to find yourself. Yeah. Okay. It's beautiful. Very introspective. Mm -hmm. We loved, And we love to listen to you. Take it away, Chloe Lavin. I miss 
got the start now. No, I have no control. I miss me. This ain't who I used to be. I miss me. This ain't who wish I would change Nothing is the same oh, oh. You know I'm real good at lying But I'm too busy crying It's really tiring Feeling like I'm expired oh. 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 Mm. Chloe Lavender. Ooh, I love your vocals. It's Thank another you. song that just, I don't even know how to, just that lower register of yours. It's just, ooh, it's beautiful, beautiful Thank tone. So Let's, but who cares what I think? Let's welcome our <laughs> industry experts back here to uh, give us their opinions. And I might ask, um, oh, Chris, you, Chris, oh, you got to stay on. On Twitch, our frames. <laughs> we'll get it. We'll figure it out. No, both of you, come on. Okay. Did that help or did that mess it up? <laughs> let's see. Let's see what happens. I know that uh, oh, Scotty okay. will have it fixed. Yes. Okay. We're okay. good now. Okay. We're all um, in our right, um, uh, right Brady Bunch boxes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, Chloe's absolutely gorgeous. Um, a couple notes I put your, your voice resonates. It's, it's just stunning. Um, rich, warm vocals. It was just beautiful. It made me really feel the message and the song. Um, and it was just beautiful. It, it helped obviously, you know, putting the pieces together when you explain what the song was and then hearing, um, the lyrics behind it, it was just beautiful. And I could definitely look at points of my life where that song definitely, um, really just I, I can I can just appreciate it and and feel it so thank you very much it's beautiful thank you. nice and Chris come back Chris <laughs> maybe the phone having tonight I don't know if there's got to be some type of retrograde or something going on the technical issues that we're having uh, but it's good though. Everyone, you know, this is Zoom. This is live. We're doing it live, live on Twitch. How's everybody in the chat doing? Great. Awesome. Love all the support in there. Everyone's giving their shout outs and their love to all the artists. Beautiful. I wonder, Chris, are we going to get Chris back in here or not? Okay, we might have to um, get Chris's feedback a little bit later on when she comes back on okay. maybe the next round. Okay, so let me just tell everybody in the chat room, if you did come to support Chloe Lavender, make sure to show your love in our fan poll, which is in the chat. You have to be signed in to use that, so please do that. Thank you, everybody. You can turn off your... It's time for our last final performer of the night to come to the stage. I don't know how this went so fast. Please welcome to the virtual open mic stage, Marcus Bailey. Hey, Marcus. Hello. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Tell me a little bit about yourself. So for those who don't know me, my name is Marcus Bailey. I am a singer songwriter born in Columbus, Ohio, and I'm based out of Chicago, Illinois. I've been writing music, singing music since I can remember. Um, it's just kind of been the thing that's 
kept me going in life and all that. Mm-hmm. And I've decided to try and make a career out of it. Um, Beautiful. Yeah. And tell me about the song that you're going to be performing. So this song is called In the End. It's an original. And it's going to be part of my first EP that I'll hopefully be releasing later this fall. And it's kind of about, it's a, it's a love song. It's It's one of those classic love songs that you just kind of like, you play when you're with your special someone and it just kind of makes you guys connect and stuff. And I wanted to sing about some of the feelings that I get when I'm, you know, with my special someone and stuff like that. So love it. Okay. Take it away. When I look in her eyes Everything stops And I can't deny Oh, she's got me stuck When I look in her eyes I'm hers and she knows it And there's no need to question I know I would choose this every time Never I'm down in down and I need a friend She is a light I'm drawn to in the end So break my heart Leave me dry until I'm lifeless I promise it's not selfish if you say Oh, my time And make me go 
Yes. All right. Marcus Bailey. Beautiful, beautiful song. Well done. I could I could just hear everybody singing along to that, like it's kind of <laughs> anthemic in the end there. Uh, let's invite our industry experts to see what they think. Give you some feedback. And unmute yourself, Chris, because you're going first this time. <laughs> yes, I'm back. I'm back. All right. Um, John um, Mayer vibes. They gave me John Mayer vibes. That's all I need to say. Um, anything on an acoustic guitar and that's all you need. Like you're amazing. <laughs> and so, um, and it is a song that I can easily see people in the audience in, you know, um, a large concert hall, just kind of you know, closing their eyes and just kind of rolling in the melody of everything. But, um, but very clear voice, very soothing tone. Um, and then even when you were hitting the falsettos, like, like I said, it gave me very much John Mayer vibes, which we haven't had in mm, since the early 2000s. <laughs> so, uh, so kudos to you. Kudos to you. Beautiful. And Brittany. I just wanted to want to know when the concert so I can buy come see you. Um, no, I, I love a good love song. Um, it was beautiful, great control, especially while playing the guitar. Um, John Mayer, Sean Mendez, any of them. It sounded great. It was beautiful. Very well written. Everybody's just getting it just amazing feedback tonight. I guess because that's what makes you the fan favorites, right? <laughs> Thank you so much, Brittany. Um, and now, if you came to support Marcus Bailey, be sure to vote through the link in the chat. This is your moment right now. Vote right now. It's your last chance to vote before we announce the overall season 10 fan favorite, which I'm going to do in a few moments. So please go and vote right now. Thank you, Marcus. You already turned your camera off. Brittany, you can turn your camera off as well. Um, actually, no, I have a question for both industry guests. So Chris and Brittany, Please come back. <laughs> it's a wild show. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have one last question while we tally up all the votes. We are in the final part of the evening. So as our industry professionals, what would be the one piece of advice you would give to our four up and coming artists on the next steps that they should take in order to, you know, take their careers to that next level? For me, authenticity, 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> and training. There's so much, you know, um, noise on Instagram, and it's really hard to get to those authentic artists, um, the ones who don't have all the likes, the ones that don't have all the views. Um, don't be um, swayed by all of that. Don't get so attached to likes, views, etc. That doesn't mean you aren't a great artist. It ju it just means that you know, the industry has changed and it will flip back. Everything always flips back, you know, and I think that's what's eventually going to happen. And when it does, you'll be ready, you know, because people are kind of tired of, you know, the same old, same old. So, um, and, it, and many are vocal on Instagram when it comes to various genres. Um, so just, just be true to yourself, keep working on your music, stay authentic. Um, don't get swayed by what you see on Instagram and, 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 Keep training and just be ready. And it, it takes time too, like, right? And it does take Instagram, time. You can, you could sing the same song over and over again and it might take years before people mm -hmm. take notice and, and pick up on it. But if it's the song that you love and that means a lot to you, then you have to keep putting it out there. Definitely. Thank you so much, Chris. Mm -hmm. And Brittany, what advice would you give? I would say just keep perfecting your craft, right? Get out there, continue with the open mic nights, any kind of, you know, opportunity you have to, to perform live, I think is really important. You're getting that direct feedback. You're really being able to connect with that crowd instead of doing it virtually. So I would just say taking all those opportunities and keep perfecting it and, and keep practicing. And never give up. Is, right. <laughs> so it is practice, dedication, keep going. What else is there? <laughs> hey, thank you so much for your advice. Thank you. Uh, you both gave amazing advice. You can turn off your cameras now. And thank you for all your feedback today. What an incredible night celebrating creativity and the next generation of artists. 
Thank you so much for joining us for our Open Mic Friday fan favorite showcase. Once again, my name is Maya Jupiter, and it was my pleasure to host Music Forward's Open Mic Fridays this week. Thank you so much for joining us. Peace.